A lot of your apps have trackers within them and some even keep a log of your user activity. It's a bit concerning, so I like to use Warden because it lets me detect every tracker and logger across any of my apps. Trust me, after I saw the results, I was shocked. Apps you wouldn't even think of having trackers like some offline games or wallpaper apps actually had the most trackers out of every app. The best part is that if you have root, Warden lets you disable every tracker and logger on your phone. If you use Spotify, AccuRadio, or Tidal without purchasing a subscription, then you know the pain of having to listen to those screaming advertisements. Well, I say no more. With ad silence, any ad within these three apps will be automatically muted when they are being played. It's simple and works perfectly for free. And that's just two of the 20 best Android apps to get you started off right for 2022. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited because every app in this video is not sponsored and they barely have any downloads, which means you'll for sure download at least one or two apps from this video. And all I ask in return is that you please drop a thumbs up on this video. Last year, we hit 17,000 likes, which is insane. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Let's try to see if we can hit 20,000 this time around. I know it's a far fetch, but I'm hopeful. Also, if you download two or more apps, please get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. I promise quality videos like this are a weekly thing on the channel and you're not gonna wanna miss out. Anyways, picture in picture mode is such a useful feature that we've all used before, but it does have its limitations. For example, if you don't have a YouTube premium account and don't live in the US, then you can't open any YouTube video in picture in picture. You also can't open a video that you downloaded or recorded from your camera in a floating window. Well, with anything to PIP, you can. It forces any YouTube video or offline media into picture in picture mode, even if you don't live in the US or have a YouTube premium account. Simply paste the YouTube link within the app, tap on the bottom right button, and it'll open it in a floating window. I can also choose a picture or a video from my phone storage to do the same thing. Super spectacular and free to use. Almost every phone supports a system dark theme to save your battery and stop you from getting blinded at night. All that's left though is the wallpaper, especially if you don't like using an AMOLED wallpaper. I had a bad habit of this since I love colorful bright backgrounds, so I turned to an app called Dark Mode Live Wallpaper, which makes any current background turn even darker when I enable the system dark theme. Once I turn it off, the wallpaper brightens up again. Pretty useful. Another option is that I can instead use two different backgrounds, one for when I use the system dark theme, and another when I had the light theme enabled. Have you ever wanted to sleep on the train, bus, or airplane, but you were too scared of accidentally missing your next stop? Well, an app called Are We There Yet alerts you when you're in range of your destination. You just tap on the place you're going to within the map, make the radius a bit bigger so that you can get notified a bit sooner before arriving, and then save it. Now you can sleep in peace knowing that you'll wake up on time. Before moving on, a lot of phones nowadays don't come with a charging brick, which sucks, because if you use a random one, it may not fully take advantage of the phone's fast charging speed. And that's been happening to me recently, so I looked online and stumbled across the Ugreen 100 watt GAN fast charger, a speedy charger that supports 100 watts. That's an insane amount. It's even cheaper than most other selections out there. I even asked Ugreen if they could sponsor this video since I love their products so much, and they did even providing a discount so that you guys can save yourself a few bucks. Now, what really caught my attention about this charger is just how fast it could charge multiple devices simultaneously. For example, it charges an iPhone three times faster than if I use the ordinary Apple charger. My iPhone 13 can get charged in 30 minutes and I can fully charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro in just under two hours. Surprisingly, it even dissipates the heat and provides overcurrent and over voltage protection. It comes with four ports, three that are USB-C and one that's USB-A to let me charge up to four devices at the same time with incredible speeds. For reference, here is a chart of the speed with every port combination being used. Perfect for charging my smartphone, laptop, smartwatch, or any other tech without losing a hiccup. That's rare for a charger of this size. It's even smaller than most other chargers that I have so I can sneak it away into my pocket while I'm on the go. It supports almost every popular device out there so you won't have to worry about being incompatible with your iPhone, Samsung, Google, OnePlus, or any other device. So if you're looking to keep all your tech fully juiced up quickly, check out the Ugreen 100 watt GAN fast charger. Recently, a user was unable to call 911 because she had the Microsoft Teams app installed on her phone. And this triggered a bug within Android that made her phone freeze up upon pressing the dial button. The bug has since been patched, 
but it could be possible that another app you have installed may also have the same faulty behavior. Luckily, an app called Phone Account Abuse Detector lets you detect any apps that trigger that same bug. The test is quick and easy, and you can uninstall it afterward. Luckily, Google will fix this bug on the OS level in a few weeks, but who knows how long it'll take for the patch to arrive to other OEMs. The Spotify mobile app is missing one huge feature that the desktop version has, and that's the ability to see what your friends are listening to. With Spotivity, you can finally get this feature on your phone. And from there, you can tap on a song that your friend is listening to so that you can too listen to that song. All you need to do is log into your Spotify for the app to work. We've all been there where we stumbled across a YouTube video that seemed interesting, but just didn't have the time to watch it until later. Nautica helps you never forget about those types of content because it'll let you save them in the notification bar as links. That way, later on in the day, you can tap on the video notifications and watch them when you're less busy. Anyways, Android 12 supports these newly themed icons that match the colors of your wallpaper and even turn dark when you enable the system dark theme. I love how they look, but the only problem is that as of now, they only work on Google Apps. Every other app in my app drawer stays unthemed. That's until I stumbled across Pix Material U Light Slash Dark, which lets me theme practically every icon within my app drawer. Seriously, it supports over 4,600 icons, so practically every app will follow the color palette of my chosen background. I haven't even gotten to the best part yet. Every app will turn dark when you enable the system dark theme. Pretty incredible. The only string attached is that you need to be running Android 12. The Google Pixels have always had some of the best live wallpapers I've ever seen on a smartphone, and with Doodle Live Wallpapers, I can bring some of those same backgrounds to any other device. For example, it lets me use the entire Doodle collection from the Pixel 4, and it works amazingly. Each time I scroll left to right on the home screen, I have buttery smooth animations, and unlocking the phone looks very mesmerizing. Additionally, there are some extra Pixel 6 inspired backgrounds, and some Material U backgrounds. I even love that each one can turn dark when you enable the system dark theme and that all of them are very customizable. It's free with no ads or in-app purchases, so go spice up your home screen now. If you'd prefer a static wallpaper to conserve your battery, Smudges is my absolute favorite wallpaper out there. Let's call this one a bonus app. These walls are gradient with 3D effects and I'm not usually into gradient wallpapers, but these are too stunning to not use. The fur ones are the ones that I love the most. Something about them just brings the sense of relaxation whenever I turn on my screen. Plus, since there's not a whole lot going on in the background, a lot of them fit perfectly with any widget I use. Now, it does cost a dollar, but I'll be giving away 30 promo codes on my Twitter and Instagram in a few days, so make sure to follow me there for a chance at winning one. Media Bar is another fantastic app that turns your status bar into a media playback controller. So if you're listening to Spotify, a podcast, or a YouTube video in the background, you can track the progress within your status bar and even scrub through the audio without needing to pull down the notification shade. The fun doesn't stop there though. You can also skip to the next track, clear or pause the sound, and rewind by tapping on the status bar. Very useful and a cool party trick to show off to your iPhone buddies. Aurora Store is an alternative app store that lets you step away from Google's ecosystem by letting you download any apps or update any existing ones without signing into your Google account. Plus, you can spoof your device, language, and region to get access to apps that are not yet available or are restricted in your country or for your device. It's super helpful. The app's interface is also extremely similar to the Play Stores, so you'll learn how to get around very quickly. And it downloads any app just as fast as the Play Store does. So if you don't trust Google, download Aurora Store instead through the link in the description. There are a lot of document scanners out there, but a lot of them want you to pay, and some even include a ton of trackers in them. That's why I turn to Stack by Google because it lets me scan any number of documents for free, and it stores them in an organized fashion on my phone. Makes it really easy to keep track of all my receipts, bills, and even important documents like my vaccination card. I also enjoy that it finds critical details within a document, like the total amount or the date, Plus, I can search for any documents to find them quickly. It's the perfect option to get rid of any paper clutter. Have you ever struggled to remember when the last time you got a haircut was? Or the last time you changed your nasty ass toothbrush? Or dusted your computer? Or anything else that occurred in your life? Well, TimeJot helps you keep a timeline for those random things that you did. Simply create an event, like a haircut, and then create a category like self-care. 
Then within that event, you can add an entry every time you get a haircut. Keeps it simple, and I even love that you can get reminded to do certain events and that you can see your entries on a chart to gain an idea of how often you did a certain task. If you have a phone that's older than two years and it came with water resistance, I wouldn't trust it anymore because over time that water seal could have torn and become damaged. The only way to make sure your water seal is still intact without dropping it in a pool of water is by using an app called Water Resistance Tester. This uses your phone's barometer to let you know if your phone is still water resistant. All you need to do is press down on the screen with two fingers and it'll give you a check mark saying that you're good to go. Or it'll give you an exclamation point which means keep me away from H2O. Note taking apps are such a dull and repetitive category that it's hard to stand out from the competition. Yet one swipe notes has managed to do it by bringing something new to the table. It lets you bring in a floating notepad whenever you swipe on the edge of the screen to let you jot down notes quickly. So if you're watching a YouTube tutorial or reading an article and want to note something down without leaving the app, one swipe notes lets you do just that. It's not going to replace any powerful note taking app you may already have installed, but it can still come in handy. Any tracker is the best way to keep an eye on any product price that you'd like to buy in the future for a lower price. I mostly use it to keep track of a price tag on a website that doesn't notify me about any price drops. Sites like eBay or a small business page, it works beautifully. Plus I can keep track of a stock, crypto, steps I've taken, calories I've burned, any social media numbers such as the number of followers I've gained or the total number of views I've gotten on my YouTube channel and a lot more. If there's a number, you can most likely track it. Quick tip, if you're a YouTuber, you can also use any tracker's widgets to keep an eye on your views and subscribers on your home screen. The Google Pixel has this exclusive feature called Screen Call that lets you have Google Assistant answer any scam calls or ask a caller why they're calling to see if it's urgent. No other phone out there has this feature, but you can use an app called Context to bring that same functionality to your non-Pixel device. You just need to decline the call and Context will then ask the caller why they're calling. You can then follow along with a live transcript and decide whether you like to accept or to decline the call afterward. It works perfectly with most popular carriers out there and it's free. You need to stop counting things because it's much easier to do so with an app called Count Things from Photos. It's not always accurate, but it does a good job at counting simple things within a photo you took. Things like the number of pills you have left, any coins, keycaps from a keyboard, and even a ton of construction material like plywood sheets, wood, metal, etc. That's just the tip of the iceberg. This app can count so many things very quickly, and I'm sure it'll speed up the jobs of so many people who work in the medical field or construction. Last but not least, Halfway is a super underrated app that makes it easier to find the middle point between you and another person who lives far away in another city. Just input your current location and the other person's location, and then it'll find the closest place to your halfway point. The best part is that you can specify what type of place you'd like to meet up at. No matter if it's at a gas station, shopping mall, restaurant, or a golfing range. You name it, Halfway will discover it in between the both of you. Anyways, that concludes the top 20 best Android apps of 2022. I hope I helped you guys download at least one app. If you did download one app, a quick thumbs up would really help get this video noticed by the YouTube algorithm. And let's try to hit that 20,000 like mark. I know we can do it. Also, if you downloaded two or more apps, get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. I promise you won't regret it because videos like this are a weekly thing on the channel. It's quality over quantity here. Either way, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!